Hey yo everyone, this is a happy anime cafe manager here with another I mean the spooky anime cafe manager here with another playthrough of the video for the game Mario Party DS. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> this game is kind of a free-for-all. Yeah, which is why I don't call this a well, walkthrough through rather than a pl playthrough. But in order to proceed further into the game, I have to be, I had to put a place for a first in the board. So for a, for the for a first uh, for the first set set in story mode, I'm playing as Wario, and I'm gonna see see what it's like, like to play play all my mini game games while this game while this uh, DS system is in front. Of my phone, and it's while well, you're using, and it's while well, you're using the play, play this uh, game. The say the same way I did, did when I'm playing Fire Emblem Awakening. I know the qual. I know when the video appears, uh, shows up on YouTube. It it's all. It's all actual size, like it's not of uh, full length. It's it's treated like a full motion video. So it's the only way, way I could really, it's the only way I could do, do this justice. <clears throat> a couple years back, back when I played play this gig, I think five years ago, ago when I played play this gig, game on uh, out. As a Grand Celestial, I... <clears throat> okay. When I played this game as a Grand Celestial, I had a flip camcorder, but the camcorder's a uh, USB port has broken, so now I gotta use my phone. The Mario Cruise Adventure begins late at one night. Five dazzling objects shoot across the sky and fall to Earth. One falls near Mario. The next day, Mario tells the crew that he found it. What he found. It's a sky crystal. Just then, there's one more surprise. The, hey, chumps, I'm throwing a big Bowser bash to apologize for being such a big jerk. So I've got a buffet of free grub laid out for all of you. Come and get it, Bowser. Bowser's party invitation also gets into Donkey Kong's hands. DK races off to Bowser's castle to get first crack at the snacks. Who could resist? Oh man, that looks delicious. Free eats can't be beat. The Mario crew also goes to the bash. Is it too good to be true? Of course. And they fell for it. Man, they deserve to fall into the trap. Whoa. <laughs> You fell for one of my traps again. Now give me that sky crystal. See my minimizer here? Guess what it does? It shrinks you all down to size. Your sky crystal was mine. Now all I need are the other four. Kamek, I'm done with these peewees. Give them the boots. Well, I guess Kamek wants to put put them inside that that sack. It just threw threw them in in a random place. But this is what the theme is for for the gay game. It's like Mario meets Honey. I Shrunk the Kids. That's right. Right, they're exploring the world, the vast world 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 of their world world being too big for them. And I'm not talk talking about, about that one one world in Super Mario Bros. 3 where everything is giant. No, they're just smaller. Shrunken down, flung far away. It's a complete mess for the Mario crew. The mini heroes pick themselves up and look at, at the mega world around them. But there's no time for sightseeing, not when there's work to be done. Our heroes must find the other side Sky Crystals, beat Bowser, and return to normal. 
The entire Marvel crew leaps into action. They all want to be the one to save, who saves the day. Even the best of friends can be fierce rivals when it comes to being heroics, being a heroic superstar. And so our tiny heroes set out on a big adventure to bring down Bowser. All right, Wiggler's Garden. At least a party of small fries could agree on one thing. They must go to Bowser's castle. But just as they start making their way through the big world... Hey, teensy weensy party people. I see you're uh, uh, busy being small, but... I need help. That grouchy piranha plant is making a mess of my garden. Would one of you we folk stomp that brute pretty please? Everyone jumps at the chance to be the big hero. To beat such a large enemy, they'll need to gather stars and use their power. The person who gets the most stars will be the superstar. And the superstar will take on the piranha plant with the power of the stars. Try to gather the most stars to become the superstar, Wario. Wiggler's Garden. Damn it, I go last. I always hate going last. Because that way, I always get so anxious for, for it to be my turn. Anyway, the first star is easy to get, but... But you need 20 coins to get the star. So this map follows the traditions of the Mario Party universe. Your objective is to buy, collect star, stars, but to purchase a star, you need 20 coins. And the player who has the most stars at the en end of the game is wins. So for story mode, it's always going to be a 10 turn play. I get a low number again, but if I win the first mini game, I should be able to get, get the first star. Get the lead out. Anyway, this mini game is push your mechanical pencils lead out as far as you can. You have 10 seconds to hit the extender button as many times as you can. Anyway, this is a bu button mashing get game. And tips the more you press the button, the farther you'll extend the pencil lead. So press quickly. I hate the doing the hate play, playing these button mashers because. I fear, fear that I'm gonna wear, wear out the button that I necessarily need need to uh, use to play in order to play the game. And this one is for the record book, so I gotta press as fast as I can. Oh, I almost broke my record. The winner of the first mini game goes to me. <sighs> yeah, that's really clever. Not only will the player lose to three coins on the red space, but they'll lose ten additional coins. Oh, no. <laughs> Daisy gets all of Toad's coins. And now Toad is gonna be left with nothing in this turn. 
two turns and told us off to a bad start. Yeah, just in case I get two. Ooh, that's quite the lucky number for me. Yes, we got the first star already. All right, Daisy's already close to the next star. Yeah, I can only do afford the two dice set. Yes, yeah, it since Mario Party 2 they've incorporated the item the item system. Which what big blooms are the these flowers have? Which is your favorite? Tap it. Uh yellow. Too bad there was only one coin inside the flower. Rotisserie Rampage. Uh, <laughs> this one, this one is a lot of fun for me when I got to be the one to rotate the rotisserie, but it's the other way around. This time, I'm supposed to avoid falling off. And the controls are different for each player. Like, if you're the one controlling the rotisserie, then use the stylus, but I had to use the D-pad. Keep your balance so you don't fall off the rotating hunk of meat. Even if one of you uh, survives, you'll all win. Don't run too far in one direction as you try to stay on. You might get caught off guard when your opponent turns the other way. It's up and down. So you get about half a minute to survive. I really lo lo like the ba background of the sky. Stuff flies up. Run, fat boy, run! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that shy guy is just hilarious in the background. <laughs> He's like, I want to eat. I want to eat. <sighs> it's too bad I don't have enough co coins to get a star, but da Daisy could have gotten her first star. Hey, what's cooking? You are. Haha, <laughs> can't stand the heat. You and a friend will we'll each get five coins. Peach and Daisy get coins. Yeah, they are girlfriends. Or princess friends. Ah, I fouled that up. Yeah, he needs some time to recharge. I just need to win one more mini game and I'm good. Dress for success. I want a dust buddies or a cyber scamper. All right. So anyway, select the body cards that match the face cards. To win the to win score three points first or score the most by the end of the game mini game. When shown four different cards, take note which character design is the correct one. Then keep track of while the track of it while the cards are shuffled. Man, my neighbors are just so fucking noisy. Alright. Oh, this one I gotta pay attention to.
Uh, I kind of goofed, goofed all up at the end. My Wario's head on Peach's body. If Peach uh, scores a, if Peach doesn't score a high uh, high roll, I might get the star. Oh shit, I think I might jinx myself. No, I didn't. She gets 10 coins. Alright, he got hit for real this time. Anyway, when I uh, played this game as a Grand Celestial, well, what made me want to do do this is is when I got inspired uh, by by Slim Kirby. Yeah, I re really enjoyed watching his uh, Mario Party Let's Plays. Cucumber Jacks. I mean, they're in trouble now. You and your partner must slice down the full length of the cucumber by attacking the veggie from both ends. Slicing it quickly is key, but do it with longer movements to will down the cucumber at top speed. It's much harder to do this while I'm recording. Like, I need the full sp space of the... ...the DS to do this. I mean, I usually get this done in less than 5 seconds. But it's too bad I didn't get a mini get a game that gets me more coins. Oh shit, I should have gone the other way because the Bowser space is a real bitch to land on. Oh, Peach sure got lucky. All geared up. Climb the gears pl platforms to reach the goal. Some platforms may rotate or disappear after some time. This reminds me of the cl climb to the top challenge in the latest Super Smash Brothers. Come on, get up, you fat ass. 
Man, those gears remind me of Castlevania. Yeah, I was playing Castlevania Bloodlines, and there's just this one stage I wasn't able to beat, and I gotta keep uh, climbing and descending gears. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued.